Ready when you are. Okay. All right. Great. Well, good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone doing? Okay. okay. All right. Well, this gives me a great pleasure to go ahead and present my lessons learned. It's been a great experience, and uh, as uh, many of you already know, this is my first course that I've been teaching at Pepperdine, and I do uh, appreciate the um, how the faculty has come together and embraced embrace technology, and how you can come together and. Um, be willing to share professional development, development in a multitude of uh, strategies. Uh, the, the interactive strategies and everything has been really uh, uh, great um, and I do appreciate everything that I've learned uh, within this journey. And so within this uh, short presentation I will share my journey and I always thought of myself as um, um, someone that's been kind of more of a techie but then Lately, it seems like I've been a little out of touch and we've got family, the career has been going, um, and I still try to get time out for golf for myself, and <laughs> you know, it's difficult, you know, and so it's, it's but I think in terms of technology, I'm always uh, willing to uh, learn more. Um, and one thing that I know that our students, um, um, not only our students here at, at Pepperdine, but also in other arenas are into technology at higher levels than we could ever be and so my thing is it's always a matter of trying to catch up and so my way of catching up is through video games and uh, that's one thing that I do find uh, that's uh, I, I stay up with my oldest son as well as uh, some of my students and trying to get engaged within the online learning environment and think about this type of uh, experience and so this is Jane McGonigal she did a presentation of TED Talks and she talks about the video gaming uh, industry and how um, you can actually see how someone is engaged within a, a particular game to this point. And if you take a look at this image here, this young man is, um, I just took a screenshot and posted it right here in this particular uh, PowerPoint just to, just to um, get a feel. I just want you guys to see some of the different things. And you see this young man is gaming. Um, playing a video game right now, and you take a look at the little wrinkles around his eyes. This, it shows some optimis, uh, optimis, optimism about achieving a particular uh, goal that he couldn't actually believe that was possible. You look at the smirk, smirk around his mouth, and it's like showing that he's almost there, almost there. And so he's on the verge of what Jane McGonagall calls, and most gamers call, an epic win. Yeah. And so, yeah, so you know, some of you have heard of it, and so that's one of the things that we're trying to build within our classes and so it's not just okay I'm gonna present something you're gonna take it I'm just gonna shove all this information down your throat but no we let's change it let's flip the classroom how do we get it so our kids are more engaged and our students uh, are more engaged in what we're learning and so I'll, I, I will refer back to students um, at both in, environments just so that because we're preparing our, our teachers to go into these fields um, so, uh, this epic wins, uh, we're trying to align what takes place within video games to what happens in education. So how do we create that desire? But in most situations, we have students that have these types of saying, oh, I'm not good at this, okay? And there are some things that I'm not necessarily good at and I had to come to terms with not necessarily being the best at technology or not necessarily being the best at um, um, communication. So those are certain things that I have to work with. And, and throughout this particular experience, I, I basically have found that there are three things that I really appreciated from this experience. First of which, um, integrating um, learner-centered technology. So when we think about what we have uh, learned in this course, and the online teaching component is just one thing in itself that I had to pick up really quickly, but the forums piece was one thing that helps to build the collaboration between the students and having that type of discussion. Um, so I think that that was really um, um, beneficial. Even within Illuminate, um, there's um, ever, I mean, I've, I've learned more and more about ways that you create the rooms and, the, and, and so on. So within this course, it's building that community that's focused on helping each learner um, build upon each other. And this has been really um, one thing that I do appreciate. Um, building an online communities, um, so the technologies leads to the online communities where most of our students are already engaged in these online communities in one way or another, whether it's Facebook, and I'm learning also more and more about these uh, types of ways that students can text 
without even having a data plan. They can just go on the computer and text. And I mean, it, it's, it's uh, the online community that we have to figure out a way how to hone in those skills within education and make sure our teachers are prepared to uh, address those types of um, um, technologies. So it's a matter of us staying um, aware of those types of technologies. And not, last but not least, how do we chunk our lessons so it's not too much information and how do we do it in a way that it provides um, some coherence to what we're trying to get across to our teachers, or to our students. Um, now, two things that I will implement, implement um, of course, the forums, and I'm getting better at the forums, and I try not to add my posts too late, and I try to get some feel back on, uh, I know it was mentioned earlier that you got the drive-by presentation or, or post and then come back and hit the uh, later post, so I try not to be the last person, but I know that there's things that, uh, uh, within forums, I'm, I'm trying to find out more and more ways of integrating <laughs> those within uh, my uh, courses. The online assessments, I was really impressed with that. Uh, Alan did a great job with that presentation, so uh, I did my own sample assessment. It was brief, but yet and still, I did try it. The, the, the uh, lesson was, uh, your videos were very, uh, uh, very beneficial, so I want to say thank you, and I'm, I'm looking forward to getting more time to really get in and play with it and make it work so that I can use that for more formative assessment, and uh, I think that that will be awesome. Um, and also, um, the focus, you know, and you see this is an image that I created. This is my second PowerPoint I did, excuse me, my Prezi, Prezi presentation. Um, I moved from a uh, PowerPoint presentation to a Prezi. And the, the feedback that was shared on, in terms of how do you just focus on the minimum points instead of having too much on the screen was extremely beneficial. For me, that was something that yeah, I'm used to having the information up there so I can always go back and refer to it just in case if I forget something, I'm always concerned. My wife says, oh, I'm forgetting this, oh, I'm forgetting that. So I want to make sure that I don't forget So, But I am seeing that this actually works. So I'm like, hey, let me keep on doing this. And plus, I love how it's interactive. I mean, that's cool. So, but for me, the focus on communication and collaboration amongst my students is one of the key pieces that I will definitely uh, implement even further um, from, as a result of this professional development. Um, in terms of suggestions for feedback, uh, the feedback on the PowerPoint, that was one thing that was greatly appreciated. I mean, that was something that I said, man, I've been doing this all this time, putting complete sentences, and yet still it can be the main ideas and the focus is more so on what's being said as opposed to what's up there on that screen. In terms, I mean, the graphic images, yes, it can take some time, but yet and still the payoff is much greater in return, I believe. Um, also, I was speaking with uh, Hong earlier in terms of any type of refresher courses. I know technology is always changing, so anything that we can do to maintain our community just within our class would be um, greatly appreciated as well. So. Um, it's been an awesome experience, and I do not want this to end yet, uh, uh, so I'm eager to see what we can do to continue our discussions. And thank you.